and welcome to a new weekly vlog. It's actually Sunday today. Um, I just decided to, I hadn't vlogged like the previous part of this week and I just decided to start a vlog on a Sunday. I thought you guys wouldn't mind. Um, Sunday's nice and chilled and I just decided to start this week's weekly vlog now. I feel like a lot of people that I watch anyway don't always vlog the whole of their week um, and kind of only do it, um, I don't know, on some days where they fancy it. So I feel like that's what I'm going to do from now on and try not to put too much pressure on myself to vlog every single day. So this past week has actually been my birthday. I don't know why my face is so red, like it's literally insane. Um, um, but this last week has actually been my birthday so my birthday was on Wednesday the 2nd of October so it's literally just gone um, and I had such a lovely day me and Bradley both had a day off work so it was so nice um, and we went out for dinner we were actually supposed to go to the Shard for lunch but there was like an emergency incident at the Shard there was loads of police and ambulances and stuff and they'd like basically closed the whole building so we weren't able to go there um, but instead we went to the Ivy which is still so nice and we just had such a nice day I got so many lovely presents um, and I I just love birthdays they're one of my favorite things whether it's my birthday or like Bradley's or my mum's or my dad's or my brother's I just love them um so yeah we had such a nice day and then Thursday and Friday we were back at work and then yesterday on Saturday we actually went to the theatre which was so lovely we went to see Waitress it was so good I would definitely recommend it um I didn't like obviously have any footage or anything but Joe Sugg was actually in it um he's just started a new role in it and his um character was really funny and yeah it was just really really good and then we also last night went to Socolo Popolare I think that's what it's called it's the like new Italian restaurant when everyone's going mental over it um always has massive queues it had a massive queue yesterday when we went um so you have to basically queue to then give your number to then be put on the waiting list so it's a little bit insane but it was so lovely and we just went and got drinks while like we waited um so we went somewhere else had drinks and it was just like a really nice evening and then today is just super chilled i think i'm going to show you my food shop that we have done um in a little bit in this vlog and then what else I'm not really doing anything today just like completely chilling uh we're going to make a chicken and tarragon pie by joe wicks in a bit um so maybe i'll try and show you that but yeah it's just super chilled then obviously i'm at work tomorrow and next weekend my mum's actually coming down which i'm so excited for she's coming down for the weekend um so just me, me and her bradley's going off to nottingham uh, his birthday banners in the background uh Bradley, bradley's going back to nottingham uh for a weekend to go and see his friends and yeah i'm just having a lovely girly weekend so you guys will know that i've worked with daniel wellington in the past um it was like the start of this year i think or like quite a while ago i was back at uni at that time um and i'm actually gonna be working with them again in this vlog so this part of the vlog is an ad um with daniel wellington but you guys know that i have worked with them before and i absolutely love them and the reason why i'm working with them now is because they have released their new icon range so these are the iconic link watches i'll do a little overlay i've got mine on now um, in this vlog um but i will do a little overlay so you can see like a close-up so the watches are actually unisex and there's three different sizes i have the 28 i think um in this watch um and i actually have the black face which i love i think it's so lovely i'm going to take it off my wrist so you can like see it properly um but i absolutely love the black face i think it's so lovely um so they do a white face a black face in rose gold and then they do a white face and a black face in silver rose gold for me is just like the perfect color i love it so not only is it so exciting that they've released this new range of link watches um, called Icon, um, I've actually also got a 15% off discount code for you guys, which is so exciting. You can use it in stores and you can use it online um, to go and have a little look at these watches. Um, so I will leave all the links and stuff down below. My discount code is just Ratchford15. I'll leave all the information down below. I'll leave my discount code down below and all the links and everything that you can go and check everything out. Um, I just love this new range of watches. As mentioned, I just love um, like a link watch. They're one of my favourite styles. Why is my face so red? Like I'm literally like a tomato. What is wrong with me? So ignoring my bright red face, um, I will leave all the information down below for you guys. I'll leave my discount code down below and the link so you can go and check out more information about the new range of watches. Um, I love how they're presented as well. I think Designer Wellington watches make such a lovely gift. I actually gave my mum one of them for, I think it was her birthday, or was it like Mother's Day or something? It was earlier on this year. Um, and I gave her one of them and she literally wears it all at the time. She absolutely loves it. And my mum's wrist is really, really small as well. Um, so she got the 28 like face size. 
Um, so it's really good that you can get like different size faces and stuff. But I will do a few overlays so that you could have seen like the watch up close and stuff. So I hope you guys like the watches as much as I do. I'll leave all the information down below anyway so you can go and have a little look yourself. So I thought I would just show you our food shop. It looks like we've got loads this week. Um, but I really like seeing what other people buy and I feel like, why is my face so red? I feel like you guys enjoy seeing what we buy. We've been doing online food shops like the past couple of weeks. Um, and I have to say, I am quite enjoying it. I feel like I don't spend quite as much money. It's a lot more organised. I feel like I never really forget anything. Um, and I've really been enjoying a cardo delivery. Um, I just really like it. It's super easy. I don't know, I feel like they have really good deals on there all the time. Um, I just really like it and I can normally get a slot. But we decided to actually go and do a food shop today. And yeah, well, it was okay. Aldi's just always a bit stressful, isn't it? Also, if you didn't know, I'm not sponsored by Waitrose. I absolutely adore that, but I'm not. Um, if you didn't know, Waitrose online food shop, um, they're giving you £20 off your first three shops. So like, it's basically £60 across your first three shops. I think that's how it works anyway. Um, so we're gonna do that next week. So when you spend 80 pounds, you get it for 60 instead. So we're gonna do that next week. We need like laundry, like detergent, and like fabric softener, and a few bits and bobs like that. So next week, when we're gonna order those things, we're gonna do a big shop on Waitrose and get the 20 pounds off, which is super good. But anyway, we went to we went to Waitrose as well because Aldi just didn't have everything, um, as usual. Um, but going around Waitrose was a really nice experience. So I love that supermarket. Right, so this is all of our food, which looks like so much food um so i'm just gonna go through so we've got courgettes i'm gonna use this for bolognese for courgette broccoli we've also got broccoli and cauliflower chopped up we would not normally buy this the reason why though is we want to make broccoli and cauliflower um cheese or ca like cauliflower cheese but with broccoli as well um with our dinner today so we got this because otherwise we wouldn't use a full cauliflower and it's just a waste so we just got them like this um then got some bacon mesalians i've just realized looking at this shop that aldi are dreadful with the plastic like all of this is just like plastic um so yeah we've got bacon salmon um some diced beef so basically we make a slow cooker lunch for like our lunch at work and we take that with us to lunch like for lunch so we're gonna make a beef stew for lunch uh, we're gonna make a chicken curry stuff like that so we make we like four meals for our lunches rather than having like sandwiches or a salad um sometimes we do do a salad but we prefer especially as we're getting colder to do like a stew with like veg and stuff like that so that's why it was quite a lot of food i feel like um so we've got bananas nectarines lettuce orange juice um i have to say if i knew i'd been going to work i would not have brought out these orange juice i don't mind it but i don't love it um i then got sandwich thins double cream sweet corn uh, i do prefer them when they're like in the fall like cut obviously i could do that myself but uh, they only had these ones got some red onion i really want to get some frozen red onion because i use frozen chopped normal onion because it's just so much easier but i couldn't find any frozen red chopped onion in aldi so got those got some ginger puree because i'm using ginger more often and i really hate using like proper like ginger fresh ginger it's really annoying just got this for like ease uh then got leeks celery uh, one thing of rice, um, just because, just oh, that was good, just to stock up the cupboards. Uh, lemons. I then got these, which were a bit like naughty. I got some salted caramel fudge pieces and milk chocolate chips. I might make those uh, cookie dough pots that I made a few weeks ago um, later on today. I think from tomorrow we're really going to try and like be a bit more healthy, so that's why I might make those today. So I got those anyway. They were only fifty p each. Parsley and rocket. Um, we got some frozen jumbo king prawns just to keep in the freezer. Uh, then got four lots of chopped tomatoes. I don't know why now they don't just do a four pack of chopped tomatoes. So you have to buy them individually. Not like it's an issue, but anyway, we've got four chopped tomatoes. Um, then got some from Waitrose, some um, fresh chicken gravy. Um, we're using this in a Joe Wicks pie later. Uh, we've got some semi skin milk. Uh, Bradley got this real shaving skin defense sensitive shave gel. Um, we got some thyme because they didn't have thyme time in Aldi and lemongrass we didn't have in Aldi. Uh, we then got some Batiste or I got some Batiste. This is Bradley's moisturiser that he used so we got some more of this. Then got my favourite biscuits to work from Waitrose which are these Vinny sandwich ones. Um, Filo pastry again for a pie we're making later which they didn't have in Aldi. Um, we got some bin bags bin bags for us like i feel like you just can't buy cheap bin bags they just rip so easy we've got some home bargains ones at the moment and they are absolutely awful so if you know anywhere 
good, 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 good bin bags let us know but the white trousers we had last time were good so we got those got some squirty cream because we both fancied having a hot chocolate later uh, got some reduced fat coconut milk for a um, curry that we're doing I've just realised that it's not a pull top and you have to like use a can opener which is so annoying uh, then got some beef mints for bolognese some eggs uh, this which is really nice from Waitrose um, we've had it before it's the chilli and orange paste and we have used this for chicken tacos as it says on the front um, so we're having chicken tacos this week so we thought we would um, get some of this so you use about half a pot I think for two people with like tacos but it's really nice and then we do like onions oh normally we do peppers actually we haven't bought any peppers we do like onions and we'll have like lettuce and tomatoes and sour cream and stuff so yeah that's like it's really really nice little paste and then we've got loads of chicken because we're doing a chicken pie today for lunch then we're also making chicken curry for lunches in the week and we're also having chicken tacos so lots of chicken we then got a cheese sauce for our cauliflower cheese today um, and then got Lloyd Grossman tomato and red wine sauce and uh, this was on offer in Waitrose and we really like these sauces so we thought we'd get that and then this also I absolutely love my dad introduced me to this this is the cook's paste it's rich, rich and robust sun-dried tomato so I actually can't eat pesto because I'm allergic to nuts and literally all pesto has nuts in it that you buy off the shop floor um, so this is really really nice it's like a really as it says rich like tomato-y paste and you basically can like add it to bolognese's and any kind of bolognese's did I, did I say that right Bol bolognese bolognese yeah that's right <laughs> uh, any like bolognese sauce or any pasta sauce basically anything where you're using tomatoes but it's just really really nice it adds quite a lot you can just use i think it says to use a tablespoon so yeah you can literally just use a tablespoon in this and add it to um other sauces it's just really nice so i like that and then we also got some flowers for our little vase i also got a new shampoo and conditioner which is this one from naughty i've never used this before it's sulfate free i've been trying to use sulfate free shampoo and conditioner and this is the moisture boost i I used the um, OGX one the other week. This was on offer in Waitress when we went in, so I got those. So that is everything that we got this week. Quite a lot of food, I have to say. Um, but to be honest, it's like we do it all in recipes before we even go to the supermarket, um, so we know that like everything we buy is going to be used. There is no better candle in the entire world than Leaves by Bath and Body Works. It is my absolute favourite. And having it burning just makes you feel so autumnal. Also, these are our flowers that we got earlier. And this new vase that mum got me for my birthday. How cute they look. Also, please ignore the frame next to the TV. <laughs> um, it's waiting to go up on the wall. However, um, this series, Chesapeake Shores, is so good. I just absolutely love it. I'm on season four. I'm basically like up to date. I just wait for it to come out. Um, but it's so good. If you like Gilmore Girls and you like like a really cosy like autumnal series, then this is one definitely to watch. For like not as many people know about this, but there's four seasons and it is really really good. So I would definitely recommend. Hello and welcome to Monday. Um, I'm up. I'm ready for the day. Um, I do feel a bit like oh, it's Monday again. Um, I think it's because, I don't know, I felt like the weekend's gone really quickly. It was such a nice weekend as well, so I don't know, a bit sad to be going back to work. Um, it looks super cold this morning. Um, let me show you outside. Bradley left for work at half past six. Um, he wanted to get in early, so I've just been by myself for the past hour. It just looks so cold. I'm going to open the door and hopefully not freeze to death. So this is the weather this morning. I don't know, I feel like you can kind of see how cold it is. It's just dark and cold and it is really, really quite cold. I think I might have to wear a full coat this morning. On another note, um, I've actually left some of my coats at home um, and I didn't realise, but when I've actually, I don't know why I'm continuing to walk around, but when I tried to look in this wardrobe in this spare bedroom um, for my coats, which they're all in here, some coats are not there um so i think i must have left them at home um i think i mentioned yesterday that my mum is coming for the weekend um this weekend which i'm so excited for um so hopefully i'm gonna ask her whether there's any coats at home and ask my dad if there's any at his house um and if so that my mum can bring them up for me if she drives i don't know if she's driving or getting the train um but yeah don't know how I've managed that because I guess we moved in May so I didn't think I'd need any winter coats and then all of a sudden it's come around really quickly that I need some winter coats and I don't have all of them here so I actually think I'm going to buy a new one this year as well um I feel like I need a black winter coat or a 
cream one or i do have a tan coat but it's really long like it's super formal um so i might get like a tan coat that's less formal or not tan like camel but yeah it's monday morning heading off to work Feeling really positive about the week ahead um i've just had my breakfast i need to go and brush my teeth now i will show you my outfit before i leave um i've changed outfits this morning actually um twice um so yeah i'm happy with what i'm wearing now but you know you put something on and you just think i don't want to wear this so i changed so this is just a quick outfit of the day with lots of washing in the background so i've got this roll neck jumper on which is from primark i'm going to be doing like a little primark haul slash come shop with me slash try on um over the next couple of weeks but yeah i got this jumper is quite long so basically i've tucked it into this skirt which was my plan when i originally bought it was to tuck into skirts but i feel like it has made this skirt look a bit bulky you won't be able to tell on camera but i think that's just how it is when it's in autumn so i just have to roll with it this skirt is from new look and i really like it um and then these little boots um are actually from clark's um my dad got me them for my birthday and i actually tried them on and then i asked for them we actually got them from bista village and they're just a low heel and they're just a suede boot and they're just super easy to wear really nice to just wear with outfits like this and super good for work because the heel isn't that high um and i have to like do some running around at work in my job so um a high heel doesn't really work so these are perfect and they're really comfortable so yeah this is my outfit for today with the coat on god it looks like i've been crying doesn't it it's now monday evening um it's a little bear on the bed um i'm just in the bedroom it's not actually like night time well it's night time it's not bedtime um i was just heading back into the living room but i thought i would just vlog quickly we're just watching grace and frankie um on netflix i've actually had a bit of a mare tonight our tube station was closed um which has not happened the whole time in living here and doesn't really happen very often like obviously one's in centre of london closed all the time because of like issues or like it's too busy or like the lift's broken or something whereas like one's further out never really closed but ours was closed tonight due to like an incident so we went to another one close by and then we we're gonna get an uber and then we we're like oh we'll just walk um so then we oh this camera is literally awful but anyway we walked back to ours um so I had a little stroll i'm not joking this camera does not focus at all on my face um so anyway just got home made dinner um and we just watched grace and frankie which is nice um i i've actually already watched the whole of grace and frankie but bradley's never watched it so we're just on season four um also i just thought i'd mention my nails are absolutely horrendous you're not even going to be able to tell like you can't really tell from looking at them um they're so bad they're really really weak so i was doing gel nails at home on my nails and i don't think it was the gel nails themselves i think it was me taking them off um like i filed a bit of them off and i think it was a bad idea because i think i probably like filed the actual like nail like this bit um and yeah it was just a bad idea i think so i've like really weakened them on my I, I normally have really good nails um like mine never really break they're really long and they have literally been horrendous like look how short my thumb is i don't know you know you can't even see but it is so short because it's broken so i bought this um nail strengthener off of amazon like a couple of weeks ago it's a sally hansen maximum growth um and it said oh it's, oh i'm supposed to use it every other day i've literally used it once in like three weeks um i need to get a bit better with this so i basically all the reviews said that it was really good for strengthening nails so i'm gonna try and now apply this every other day because i haven't been doing that i'm just gonna file my nails now and pop some of this on um like a pop nail polish on the other day but it was just like so like flaky it was rubbish um so i'm gonna try and strengthen my nails and then i'm gonna go and get my nails done and treat myself um because i love having my nails done and they're just awful at the moment and i don't feel like i want to do them myself now just in case i like ruin them um there was a girl called poppy um who i actually used to go to school with um who was the year below me i'll leave her instagram down below if you want to check it out but she now lives in cardiff at uni um and she has like a nail salon um and her instagram is so cool like she's done so so well her like if you live in cardiff you need to go get your nails done by her i'm sure you probably know who she is um but her instagram is so cool like all the different nails she does and i would just like her to do my nails but obviously i live in london <laughs> um and i could not go to cardiff um however i think i might message her um because i know her to see 
how to actually take my own gels off because I obviously didn't do a very good job of it uh, because my nails are really now super weak. Anyway, I'm gonna go and watch Race of Frankie with Broccoli and put this nail strap on. Hello and happy Tuesday. Um, I've just finished eating my breakfast, I've washed up. Um, I've just put my shoes on and brushed my teeth. Um, I just need to get the last things ready before leaving the house. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment. Like, I feel like happy, but I don't really have that like, much motivation. Like, I don't know, I don't have much like get up and go and I'm not too sure what's wrong with me. Um, I think I need a holiday to be honest. And I think I've mentioned, like please tell me I've mentioned, but me and Rodley are going to New York. I did put it on Instagram, but we're going to New York on the 9th of November. We still haven't even booked a hotel. We only booked the flights like two weeks ago. Um, but yeah, we just couldn't decide where we wanted to go on holiday. We knew we wanted to go on holiday in like October, November time. Um, and we just couldn't decide where to go. We were like looking at going to uh, Bali or Thailand. Um, and then we just couldn't decide whether we wanted to go on a sunny holiday, like go to Bali or go to like a city, whatever. Anyway, we decided on New York. Neither of us have ever been before. I have wanted to go since I was so young. And I'm just very, very excited about it. So yeah, we're going on the 9th of November super soon and we need to book our hotel so we're going to be looking at that like tonight slash tomorrow so it's now tuesday evening my auntie got me these um hot chocolate what do you call them hot chocolate little coin thingies um it's award-winning hot chocolate and basically these are little pieces of chocolate and you melt them and stir into hot milk so i'm about to make this now um, and me and Bradley actually really strangely we saw these like a few weeks ago uh before my birthday at a little shop at the bottom of our road uh when we were going to get some like fresh bread and they were in this really cute little farm shop and i literally said i was like oh i really want some of those and didn't get it it was in the morning we were buying bread wasn't thinking about hot chocolate and then my auntie got me them for my birthday not knowing that i'd already seen them somewhere so really really god the lighting in the kitchen is not enjoyable is it um it's now thursday um i've just kept this vlog going because it's not very long at the moment i didn't vlog yesterday me and Bradley actually went to the cinema last night which was really nice we went to see joker which was such a good film i am normally like i just love rom-coms <laughs> i don't really venture I don't really watch films that much. I prefer a series. Um, yeah, I just don't really like watch that many films, really. Like, if you ask me whether I've watched like some kind of classic film, I probably haven't. Um, and anyway, so Bradley really wanted to go and see Joker. Batman is like his favourite like film series, and obviously that it links. So um, yeah, we went to see that last night. And it was actually so good. So we went to see that, and we also went to Pizza Express for dinner because the fact that Pizza Express might go under it's making me so sad i love pizza express it's one of my favorite places it's such a nice restaurant for a chain restaurant like some i don't like some of the chain restaurants and i just think it's lovely i love pizza express um so yeah we went there last night and because we went straight out to work i didn't have my camera on me to film anything um but i thought we'd just carry on this vlog today i just want to mention the first thing the reason why i'm touching my hair so much it's because the shampoo that I, well, the shampoo and conditioner that I bought in the food shop that I showed earlier on this week, do not buy it. It is so bad. Yesterday, like I wash my hair every day, apart from like some days I might like put it up in a ponytail like the day after or in a bun or something, if it's still looking okay. And normally that would be probably like a Thursday or Friday. Anyway, so I wash my hair every day. Um, so I washed it yesterday with that naughty um, shampoo and conditioner. And I'd also washed it on Monday and Tuesday with that as well. I'm not joking, Tuesday was bad, Wednesday was horrific. Basically, the shampoo I like, hadn't washed out properly in my hair and it got like in here, it was like complete grease. Like this looks slightly greasy, but it's because it's, well no it doesn't, it's because it's a bit still wet. But um, literally it was entirely greasy, like really like the strands were like covered in shampoo. And I had scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed to get it out because on Tuesday the same thing had happened, but not quite as bad. So on Wednesday I was like, right, I need to really make sure I rinse my hair. I'm not joking, I'm never using that again. Um, so I used Tresemme this morning, and look at that. Like, it just feels so much better. Um, so I don't know if I can get on with these sulfate-free shampoos, to be honest. I know they're better for your hair, but I feel like for mine, it's just not working. Even the OGX one that I had, it was good, but it was still, <clears throat> it was still making my hair feel, like, 
stodgy. <laughs> I don't know, still making my hair feel like I had product in it when I just washed my hair. Um, so I'm just telling you to stay clear of that shampoo and conditioner. So it's currently 5 to 7 in the morning. Um, I've got myself ready quite quickly this morning. Um, we made a bolognese when we got back last night for dinner, which is just in here. Um, well, Bradley actually made it. But tonight, we're actually going to a spin class. Me and Bradley both have been out of it. Well, Bradley's been out of exercise for longer than me. But since I left Manchester, I haven't really done anything, uh, which has been like months now. Like five months or something ridiculous um so i need to get back on the bandwagon bradley really wants to start doing some exercise again um and so we both want to sign up to a gym and get back on it um so and as most of you know my mum is also a personal trainer so like i don't know i just want to get back onto it my mum my mum would never say to me that i need to do some exercise but I don't know, she talks all the time about like personal training people and my friend and like, I really need to just get on and do something. Um, so we found a gym that we actually think looks quite good near us, um, that we hadn't seen previously. It's got a really strange name, um, so I didn't actually think it was a gym, but yeah, so we found this gym, um, and they do really good classes, they're at good times, because a lot of people, like, a lot of places will do classes at six o'clock when like, we're on the tube home or like half six or even seven is like Bradley gets home at seven so it's just too late it's too early sorry um so this one does them at half seven and they do spin and I really enjoy spin um and they do they do class in the morning it doesn't open till half six though so that won't really work for us I don't think um but yeah so they do like loads of classes um so we're gonna go tonight to spin um to kind of test out the gym see what the class is like um and see what the gym is like because we actually haven't even visited before it should only be about five minute walk away uh which is obviously super good but yeah we're just gonna go to see what it's like and then if it's good we're gonna sign up like there and then after the class so yeah that's our plan for this evening so basically the reason why i'm telling you that is because we were supposed to make a slow cooker beef stew for today's lunch and tomorrow's lunch and we were supposed to have the bolognese was supposed to be for last night's dinner or tonight's dinner like because we didn't eat dinner last night so tonight's dinner however when we got back last night the beef stew was going to take a lot longer to make in the slow cooker like we had to fry some bits beforehand and the bolognese was just like chuck it all in so i'm going to try this morning and make this beef stew before i leave um so i'm going to chop all the ingredients fry the bits i need to fry and then pop it all in the slow cooker leave it the whole day and then when we get back from the gym later the stew should we already be cooked and it'll be really nice and soft and then we can then have that for lunch tomorrow so that is my current plan i'm going to try and do that now so i'm not really too sure how i've managed this because i have been rushing but i've managed to make the beef stew before i've gone to work and i've also made myself my breakfast which i make scrambled egg and um turkey rashers and a sandwich thin so i'm not really too sure how i've managed it but it's in here um, it looks easy because it just looks like you chuck everything in here, but for a stew you have to like cook a couple of, oh, you have to cook a couple of the things first. So you have to cook, oh that's coming undone. So I had to cook the carrots and celery and onion together, add in tomato puree, some herbs, Worcestershire sauce, um, was it Worcester sauce? I don't know how to say it. Um, and then water, and then I had to fry the beef, and then some of the beef was frozen, so I had to defrost it in the microwave been a bit of a long process but I now need to leave for work but I'm very 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 proud of myself that I've managed to do that this morning because it means we can get back tonight go to the gym and come back and eat straight away and uh, we don't have to cook and it will still be like nice and easy because the one thing that I was worried about with um, starting to go to the gym so I didn't want to lose our evenings um, but the class is half an hour starts at half seven we'll sign up for the gym as well um, probably uh, if it's good um, as we leave and then hopefully we should be back here by like quarter past eight we can sit eat and everything will be fine um, and we'll have been to the gym as well so I feel very proud of myself for like a bossing life um, so yeah i'm basically ready for the day i'll just show you what i'm wearing actually because i'm coming in here to get my bag so super easy outfit today i've just got a roll neck on which is from primark just a black one and then i've got this skirt on which is from new look um which is a midi skirt it's new in so you should still be able to get it um it looks like this and then I've got my boots on from clark's again because they're just super comfortable and low so just really easy outfit today i'll chuck a jacket on over the top because it's so cold now so hello recently just got home 
Me and Bradley are going spinning tonight. Sit on the bed. Um, me and Bradley, oh my god. Me and Bradley are going spinning tonight. I'm so excited. Like, scared as well because I haven't done exercise in like a few months. But I'm so excited to just get back into it. My face is so red and shiny because I've just washed it and put a bit of moisturiser on. Um, and taking my makeup off because, like, who on earth goes to the gym with makeup on? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I've just put my workout clothes on, which I haven't had on in ages. And if you were watching me when I was at uni in Manchester, like, at the start of the year, like, back in April, May time, I was going to the gym so much. Um, well, not even, like, loads, but I was going, like, four times a week, three to four times a week with my friend Claire in Manchester. Um, and I just absolutely loved it. Like, really, really enjoyed doing it. And it was good at uni to do it, like because otherwise I'd just sit in the house um, and be like revising and stuff. Um, so I loved it and I really want to get back into it. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm tired at the moment. I'm feeling a bit lethargic. Um, I think it's because I just haven't done any exercise. So I'm really excited to go and do some. Bradley's really looking forward to it as well. It's currently, what's the time? It's currently quarter to seven. Um, it, the class is at half past seven and it's about a five minute walk away. Bradley didn't finish, Bradley doesn't finish work till six. Um, whereas I finish at half five, so I always get home before him. Um, but I'm just currently reading a book because I read my Kindle on the tube. Um, and then what happens is when I get further on in the book, I just want to continue to read it when I get home. So I'm going to just go and sit and I'm completely ready for the gym. I've got like, my coat and everything. I've got my trainers on. Uh, I'm just going to go and sit and read my book now. But like, but, and then, but yeah, I'm going to go and sit and read my book now and wait for Bradley to get back. And then we can leave and go. And I'm really looking forward to it. I know that I'm going to literally like die. Um, I literally not be able to do like what I could do like could do like four months ago um but i just want to get back into it and it's the first step to get back into it so it's only a 30 minute spin as well it's not a 45 minute one i didn't want to book onto a 45 minute spin for the first time doing exercise again because for like spin is one of like the hardest ones um so hopefully it'll be fine i won't die hello so it's now friday and i just thought i would come on and finish the vlog i think i'm in exactly the same position that i was yesterday morning when i was talking about my hair um but i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for watching um let me know whether you care whether i vlog like every single day wednesday to wednesday or whether you're happy for it to just be like a bit more sporadic um i will try and like keep them uploaded on a wednesday this one just hasn't gone up on wednesday um because we're at the cinema but um yeah so if i don't know if like it bothers you let me know if you really don't mind what days i film then let me know too because i feel like that's one of the reasons why i haven't been vlogging as much because i'll miss one day and then be like oh no i can't now do a vlog because i've missed one day which is silly really um but i'm gonna end the vlog currently outside it looks like the middle of the night like 3 a.m it is literally pitch black and it's 7 a.m in the morning so yeah not the most delightful anyway thank you so much for watching guys please give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it also please subscribe if you haven't before i would love you to the button is just down below and also please do check out the daniel wellington links in the description box um and obviously use my discount code if you do pop into any of their stores or online um but yeah check out their new range of watches because they are gorgeous thank you so much to daniel wellington for sponsoring this video i really appreciate it i hope you guys don't mind that there's been two vlogs with an ad in them um kind of back to back i haven't done any anything sponsored for months so i hope that you don't mind that they've fallen at the same time it's always this time of year that they end up falling but thank you so much for watching again uh, please leave me a comment down below and i will speak to you next time bye